So let's have a look at an exit from a business. One thing is, as soon as a, a business owner goes into business, they are going to exit. Now, <clears throat> the exit can either be for a value, equity sale. It could be for uh, no value at all. They just closed down and they have years of hard work for no real return at the end, just the cash flow. Or it could be, in the worst case scenario, it could go bust. And I've seen a number of those in my, in my career. It's very sad. The ideal is that people have an asset at the end of all their hard work in business, that the earnings that they've uh, uh, generated are invested either in the business or somewhere else to create an asset. And I think, I think exits are a specialized area, but they're not just at the end of the business process. In an exit, for me, the definition is, there's three types of exit. There's number one, lifetime clients. If you can build yourself lifetime clients, to me, that's a form of exit because you have a core asset power base that falls in love with your business and will refer your business. And then you can do with it whatever you want, basically. You could pass it on to family. You could sell it. You can invest your earnings into assets that generate passive income. So that's your insurance policy and that's number two. It's investing. Now you can invest your, your earnings either in your business, it's called reinvesting, or you can invest it in assets. And investing in assets is just another business. And I call it the insurance policy to your existing business. So you have to risk manage that and make sure that these assets over here are protected from your business. So if you do that as you go along, then if you close down your business at the end and everyone's uh, satisfied that you paid your debts and you know you, you want to sail off into the sunset, you can do so. But most people don't look at it like that. They look at their business like a job and at the end of it, they just resign from their job. And the worst part about it is I see business owners that are coming to the end of their business uh, life they want to sell their business, but they haven't created the value. They haven't created the lifetime clients. They haven't created an investment over here to, to live off that they actually got flexibility. But number three is a specialized area, and that's the actual sale of a business or selling down your equity. And that is a specialized process whereby what you do is actually a marketing process. You create the story of the business which is very congruent with what your purchaser wants. And one of the things I've seen when I've um, executed exits is that the owners design their business for themselves. They don't design their business for the ultimate exit to a third party and consider who their ideal purchaser would be. It's very similar to the market domination area where you, you consider who your ideal customer will be. So day to day, you're designing, defining and developing your business for the ideal purchaser. Now, when we get into the exit uh, execution, <laughs> that's a very specialized area. But if we develop the story, we underpin that with strong net cash earnings, which you get from a lifetime client base um, that's either reinvested in the business for high return or reinvested outside then if you've got a growing net cash earning stream, which that's what it's called, is profit, cash profit, um, then that makes it more attractive for the ideal purchaser if it fits with what they want. So I hope you can see how this is a marketing process that you define the story, underpin it with the numbers, and then support those numbers in terms of how you've got a structured, systemized, scalable business to that will be appropriate and also um, increase the net cash earnings of the purchaser. What really gets me is when I see business coaches, business consultants, etc., that do not understand at the depth they need to what a structured, systemized, and scalable 
net cash earnings is and how to achieve it. Because if you understand that, you understand the core of your business and you understand how to communicate that to a purchaser. One last note, if you are thinking of selling your business, it is by far the most emotional aspect of business that I've ever seen. When I go and see uh, directors and they say, I'm going to sell my business, I said, you are going to get emotional about this. They say, no, 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 I won't get emotional, I went out. Every single one has got emotional when they go, go through a due diligence and the external party questions what they're doing. It's human nature. Make sure that you don't get, get emotional about this exercise. Business is a vehicle. Be very clear on what your exit is. Invest along the way. Build lifetime clients. And that will set you in good stead.